the number one thing that I've always remembered about my childhood and going out in the country and being around farmers is just how hard they worked getting the most out of every day they had. We've been in Emporia, Kansas my whole life. I always enjoyed being around farming. All my childhood friends, that's what they did. If you live in an agriculture community, you know, it's the ebb and flow of, of, of that business that supports us all. You learn a work ethic. I think that's definitely shaped him and molded him. I got the racing bug at an early age. Santa Claus brought us a couple PW50s, and the next thing you know, we're jumping it over the sandbox. We'd travel to Oklahoma or Texas or whatever. The boys would enter two or three classes, and he'd bring home six or eight trophies between them about every weekend. When I did that and, and got my opportunity to jump in a race car and have four wheels and a roll cage, I just fell in love with it. We uh, uh, literally started winning races and, and uh, moving up classes and having more success and more success. And next thing you know, Richard Childress is calling out of the clear blue. He's just a natural born talent, I think, in the, in the seat, you know. Um, I've watched him race throughout the years that I've been in the sport, and you, you can see that his, his talent level is, is there. And uh, not to mention, he's a load of fun. I think the relationship business is what Clint's really good at, and I think the performance business, he's obviously really good at it. We're winning races and contending for championships, so uh, just watching his career run its course has been certainly fun. He chose to come back and do some things that he could see that were needed in our town that weren't here when he was a kid growing up. I'm, I'm proud of that. The community needed uh, some sort of a, a building, a structure that we could host all sorts of events. And I thought it was, it was essential to invite all the farmers, all the ranchers, anybody in the community to stamp their brand on the bar. We cleared over the top of it, that way it'll be here and be a part of it forever. Racing is a performance-driven business. Guess what else is? Farming. It's all about innovation. I mean, performance and innovation, I mean, it's what we, we live by. Each week, each year, we gotta strive to get better. You gotta perform, you gotta succeed, and at the end of the day, you just gotta be a really good person. Coming into this season, for me, you know, personally, it was a situation where it was time for me to, to have success on the racetrack, prove myself all over again, because you're only as good as last week's race. We got that win at Martinsville, and I'm telling you the difference that I see, obviously in myself, our communication, our race team, the swagger the guys have, it's been an instant game changer. And that's the parallel between racing and farming. Um, you've got to put in the work to have the success. You know, that's my story.